like a deranged maniac. I'll deal with it. Okay. Hi. Hi. What are you doing here? What happened to your face? Um. So you, you left these at my apartment. And I wanted you to have them. David, what the fuck? What the fuck are you doing at my house? Well, I came to see you. Why didn't you tell me you were coming? You would have said I couldn't. Why are you covered in sweat? Did you bike here? Why? I don't know. It was nice out. <laughs> I didn't. I don't know. I'd give it much thought. I just sort of did it. Look, can we please talk? Okay, fine. Um, mom, I'm going out for like one minute. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay. Let's go down and talk down here. It's um, nice to see you. What happened to you? I got beat up by Ace. I mean, I deserved it, you know? I don't think I have the constitution to be a drug dealer. I mean, you know that. I came to tell you that I miss you. And that I took you for granted, and that I'm, that I took you for granted, and that I'm really, really sorry that I took you for granted. I'm making some of the changes that we talked about, you know? You're still working, though? Not anymore. I can live off my savings for a while, you know? I made like 25 ish thousand dollars, so I feel like that should be all right. There sure. was $25,000 under that bed I was sleeping in? Probably more like 15 to 18,000 when you slept in it, but. Whatever, though, it's. <laughs> It's, it's not worth it, you know that. I know. Do you think that writing job's gonna work out? Definitely not, but I've been applying to a lot of other stuff. But I feel like this might be off-putting to potential employers, but... Um... Hey. Hi. That's your ex-boyfriend. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Um. I think probably you should. Yeah. I'm so frustrated with myself. I don't know why I do stupid things. I'm just like kind of a fucking idiot, you know? Could I tell you a secret? Mm 